Travis Wayne Goodsell. So the weekend was a bust for the insurrectionists, the MAGAs. Utah had a protest. Apparently they didn't get the memo. <laughs> On Saturday, uh, yeah, and their MAGAs were supposed to riot and war, not protest peacefully, like snowflakes. <laughs> and then uh, I did hear yesterday Michigan armed people showed up at their capital. Uh, but uh, yeah, nothing. <clears throat> so yeah, DC is, is in lockdown still and it's going to get more locked down today and and uh, for the inauguration. You guys failed. MAGA failed. And that was in the Book of Mormon. As uh, Mormons will not be listening to this video, they will see the title and go, that's not what I believe, thumbs down, and run away. They won't even bother to listen. They don't want to listen because they've already made up their minds. Their hearts are so hardened with non-truth, non-reality, that uh, they believe they're in the right and, and uh, all must obey them or die. <laughs> As yes, even I'm getting death threats from Mormons. <clears throat> I guess we can call them MAGA Mormons, <laughs> M&Ms. <laughs> and, uh, and so with this failure to coup America with a wimpy show of force, just being bullies, <clears throat> And I'm getting people who are wondering, well, what's next? Uh, and, uh, and so obviously those are the people who are listening to my videos. And if uh, you're new, and obviously you're not Mormon, because Mormons won't listen, <laughs> then uh, you're an ex-Mormon. And you're wanting and hoping that I'm going to be trashing Mormons in the video. But, if you are unfamiliar with my other videos, you're going to be shocked to find out it's all on Brigham, not Joseph. And that's the big con that Brigham Young pulled. See, the, the Smiths purposely coded the Book of Mormon. They had no intention of of telling a story just to fraud people into giving them money or to make them popular. It was all about the Book of Mormon and the message in the Book of Mormon which coded just like the Doctrine and Covenants was coded and if you don't understand, because you didn't watch any of my LDS, real LDS history videos, uh, it's because uh, Joseph Smith Sr. was a Master Mason in Canandaigua, New York. And yes, that's where William Morgan was arrested, was in Canandaigua, New York. They were both York Rites, with the Knights Templar, which includes the Holy Grail, the blood lineage of Jesus Christ, and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and so Joseph Sr. is not really Christian. Did that video today about how and why Mormons are not Christian. And uh, immediately after seeing the comments and replying, I already had one thumbs down from a Mormon who saw the title and immediately 
clicked on my video, which I don't think they fully grasp that if you click on a video, you're going to get other videos from that channel flooding <laughs> your YouTube page <laughs> as recommended. And so I don't know what these guys are thinking. Maybe they know and they're purposely doing it just to stalk me as cyber bullies. But uh, yeah, they don't listen. They don't care what information I provide. They're offended with the title. And so they attack. That's it. That's all. MAGA Mormons. M&Ms. <coughs> and so the William Morgan information was the 116 pages that were destroyed by Martin Harris. And so Joseph Smith Sr. had to figure out what to replace it with. And you're going, what? Joseph Sr.? I thought Joseph Smith Jr. wrote the Book of Mormon. No, he had nothing to do with it. He was supposed to distract Martin Harris because Martin Harris insisted on being a part of it. <laughs> and so, well, Smith Sr. needed to get him out of the way. And so he put him in harmony in between Ohio and New York uh, to uh, have uh, Smith, uh, Jr. receive the completed manuscript pages from Oliver Cowdery uh, describing for Sidney Rigdon. And then uh, Smith, of course, veiled so that Martin Harris couldn't see what Joseph Smith was doing and only knew about the rocks and the hat thing that he, Joseph Smith Jr. pulled on the farm and most likely used that as his excuse uh, with translating, as he claims. And, uh, and so Joseph Smith Jr. was merely reading from the manuscript pages that Oliver Cowdery had written down and uh, Martin Harris believed that he was scribe for this translation miracle process and uh, then the pages would then be sent to uh, the farm in New York where uh, Smith Sr. on the Cooper Smith shop would have the copper plates uh, forged ready to go to be sent to the print press and Joseph blew it <laughs> and so yeah senior got mad get out of here go over to Susquehanna Pennsylvania instead and uh, live with your new parents <laughs> I'll take care of this publication and so in section 10 of the Doctrine and Covenants you see what he finally figures out what to do to replace them as he's the Lord <laughs> if you hadn't figured that out by now and uh, and so Junior uh, will be given an opportunity to lead the organization once the book is finished but in regards to the book he blew it he's out and so uh, Oliver Cowdery then on horseback went straight to the farm uh, to have the plates uh, made from the manuscript pages and that's why Oliver Cowdery is said to have taken over <laughs> from Martin Harris and so uh, yeah Joseph blew it and uh, and so the warning message as I've gone over with you is by knowing astronomy. A holiness to the Lord parchment that the Smiths found, the Smith Sr. had uh, was uh, from his uh, Jewish mysticism education uh, with the New Israelites in Vermont. And, uh, and so he was big on Revelation, the book of Revelation, and uh, the last day's prophecies, uh, the wood scrape, of Nathaniel Wood in that New Israelite religion uh, showed that uh, he was not only a false prophet but uh, uh, it paved the way for Smith Sr. to figure out how to incorporate the information William Morgan was presenting as uh, the dating for this next threat to America 
would take place in the years 2017-2024, which are the astronomical dates in the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and chapter 19. The sign of the Son of Man in chapter 12, the second coming <laughs> in section or chapter 19. And, uh, and so the Book of Mormon starts off, First Nephi, chapter 1, Lehi has a dream when a president is put on the throne of America using the code for Babylon putting Zedekiah on the throne of of Jerusalem and, uh, and and so then he has the dream of Revelation 12 sign and Revelation 19 sign and so it, it's a brilliant writing technique for a, a, a fiction novel where you uh, you put an introduction into the whole story in the form of a sign in the heaven <laughs> for the time period uh, that was pretty clever on his part I give him that uh, and so uh, throughout the Book of Mormon uh, you have uh, events that are plotted that William Morgan found out about incorporated throughout the Book of Mormon and uh, mingled with uh, human philosophies, uh, principles of good human behavior, <coughs> and uh, and so now that it's being fulfilled as they knew that we're witnessing it in real time, 2017 with Trump being put in by Russia, yes, already happened, and. The sign of the Son of Man happened September 23rd, 2017. The first day of darkness happened in August 21st, 2017. Other signs from John's revelation in chapter 12 occurred that year and into the next year in 18, uh, corresponding with uh, Thomas S. Monson. Yeah. His birthday is on the first day of darkness, <laughs> and his death was on the uh, Revelation 12 sign of the stars from the or stars shall fall from the tail of the dragon. That's a quadranted meteor showers at the tail of Draco the Dragon constellation, and began the night Monson died. And it's really cool, but it means the church is false. <laughs> but the Smiths knew about it and knew that the church would fall, that they are likely to be uh, found out about and their organization taken from them by this great and abominable church with the, the secret combination of the Gadian and robbers. And, uh, what we are witnessing last year was the weaponized virus that was already known. Uh, granted, it's already in the Exodus, but that's the whole concept, is that Smith Sr. is involved with Jewish religious thinking rather than Christian thinking. And so he's thinking in terms as the Jews are concerning the Christ, that he's a man, not some God who f comes from outer space. And, uh, uh, and so he understands that Moses is the symbol for the latter day Christ. And uh, when Moses confronts Pharaoh, you have three days of darkness and the virus that then caused the exodus. So that they can go build Zion. And that's the pattern that the Smiths were thinking in terms of. Is uh, trying to prepare just in case they weren't overthrown. But uh, yeah, they were overthrown and thus there is no Zion. 
no Mormons rushing to the aid of America to overthrow the kingmen to prevent them from the coup that happened on the 6th and uh, keep the Russians from putting Trump on the throne even and so yeah Mormons have failed because they're not the true church they are the apostate church that took over Joseph's organization with his murder and uh, and so those who have been listening to this over 15 minute summary so far <laughs> know all this and so they're now asking oh, what's going to happen now uh, I even have somebody who's talking about the Ezra Ezra's symbolism for the latter days that's from the Apocrypha and uh, I did a video on that and so he's wanting to know okay well what's next then what's what's going on and and others are, are thinking more in terms of, of what's going to happen in regards to the Book of Mormon so here's the reply that I sent to the one and then copy and pasted to the other <clears throat> and so I'm just going to read it it can be tough trying to interpret future prophecy before it happens now in terms of prophecy it's not really prophecy it's information obtained from William Morgan passed to the Smiths and blah 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 but uh, just in case uh, I'm speaking generally here especially when certain prophecies contain life and death warnings the Book of Mormon is condensed into a seven-year period of events with human principles to live by mingled in 2017 we now know was when Trump was put in office and now we're at the unleashing of the viral weapon and Trump's election loss see Joseph Smith also put section 45 verse 31 for the weapon the viral weapon and uh, let's see I've already done the video about Helaman 8 being 2020 and and also 3rd Nephi 7 which includes the 2020 election defeat of Trump and MAGA fleeing America but with divided states likely MAGA states will refuse to follow the Biden presidency Captain Moroni going back to DC to deal with the seditious kingmen slash MAGA is also right now as many lawsuits and congressional impeachments are about to occur then we enter 3rd Nephi chapter 8 with the climate change natural disasters that will ravage America which despite Biden promising to make changes will still take years before seeing a real change unless we do drastic measures such as quarantine the whole of America to clean the air instantly as I witnessed back in April 2020 and I'm sure all of you witnessed it uh, and heard the news that India clean air for the first time and they don't know how long <laughs> and China and, and uh, other places around the globe because of that quarantine in the beginning Wow it's amazing how we can beautify the earth and make it a garden paradise it's not complicated we just need to do it uh, thus the Mormon Utah exodus if MAGA fails to assault America so far they have will come from natural disasters over the next few years third Nephi chapter 8 massive fires tornadoes hurricanes floods the mutants coronavirus etc Biden will only give out minimal amount of money trying to fix the economy but will obviously fail as it did when Obama at least saved America from Bush's financial collapse 
I hoped for an exodus by now so that I wouldn't have to worry about continuous death threats from the church. But this requires the fulfillment of section 101 of the Doctrine and Covenants parable by Joseph Smith. So there's a, an overview of the passages that we are now looking at for what's next. We have the parable in section 101 starting in verse 43. Uh, we have uh, uh, Third Nephi 8 as uh, we're still finishing up Third Nephi 7. Uh, and Captain Moroni also uh, needs to be incorporated as we still have yet to see any lawsuits proceeding and congressional impeachments of other congressmen who were involved in the January 6th coup d'etat uh, which resulted in deaths and so uh, obviously don't want to go forever into each one of those I've already done videos on those uh, I've done videos on 3rd Nephi 11 which is also 2024 and so it's not Jesus coming from outer space they even tell us in that chapter about the sign so uh, that's what's going to happen next for those of you who are wondering and uh, obviously people who are at the lower rungs who are being manipulated by the puppet masters uh, uh, they don't always do what the puppet masters necessarily want them to specifically do but they do things generally what they want them to do and so it's that specific human behavioral trait that is unpredictable uh, that we have to watch out for that can shift things uh, in the specific sense but generally the Book of Mormon has the outline of what we are to expect and so uh, there you go